um, and for servicing the space station. Um, so going to the satellites portion, um, the, the, the size of, of this being a 90 meter diameter vehicle is, is a huge enabler for new satellites. Uh, we can actually send something uh, that is almost nine meters in diameter uh, to orbit. Um, so for example, for, if you want to do a new Hubble, um, you could send a, a mirror that has 10 times the surface area of the current Hubble as a single unit. It doesn't have to unfold or anything. And um, or, or, or you can send a large number of small satellites. You can, you can do whatever you like. Um, you can actually also go around and if you wanted to collect old satellites or clean up space debris, you can just use the sort of chomper over there um, and go around and collect, uh, collect satellites or collect space debris if you want. Um, so that, that, may, that may be something we have to do in the future. Um, but th that, that, that fairing would open up and retract and, the, and come back down. So it's, it enables launching of, of Earth satellites uh, that are significantly larger than anything we've done before or significantly more satellites at a time than anything that's been done before. Uh, it's also intended to be able to service the, the space station. <laughs> I, I know it looks a little big relative to the space station. Um, but the, the shuttle also looked big. Um, so it, it, it'll, it'll work. <laughs> looks a little outsized, but it'll work. Um, so it's, it'll, it'll be capable of, of um, doing what Dragon does today in terms of transporting cargo and what Dragon 2 will do in, uh, in terms of, of transporting crew and cargo. So it can do the space station servicing. Um, it can also go obviously much further than that, um, like for example the moon. Um, based on the calculations we've done, um, we can actually do lunar surface missions with no propellant production on the surface of the moon. So if we do a high elliptic uh, parking orbit uh, for, uh, for the ship and retank in a high elliptic orbit, we can go all the way to the moon and back with no local propellant production on the moon. So I think that, 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 enabled, that would enable the creation of moon base alpha or, or some sort of lunar base. Um, Yeah, it's quite captivating. So the, um, uh, you can also see, for example, how, how, how do you transfer cargo from the cargo bay down to the ground is a crane. It's not very complicated. Um, and um, yeah, but, but so this will enable the creation of a lunar base. And it's, it's 2017. I mean, we should have a lunar base by now. What the hell's going on? <laughs>